New reports are shedding some light on the role the Obama administration is currently playing in regards to the conflict between the U.S. and Iran. Here's One America's Jack Posobiec. In a shocking new report today, we are now learning that former members of the Obama administration have been caught holding back-channel communications with Iranian officials on how to defeat U.S. foreign policy under the Trump administration. Specifically, they've been contacting Iran's foreign minister, Mohammad Javad Zarif. One American News exposed John Kerry's illegal shadow diplomacy with Zarif last year when the two were caught holding secret meetings together in Paris and photos were taken of them. Kerry's deep ties to Zarif are well known. In some cases, Obama officials reportedly attended Capitol Hill meetings to learn information about new U.S. policies from congressional Democrats and then relayed that information to the Iranian government. This, of course, is in violation of the Logan Act, the same act that General Flynn was spied upon after Trump had been elected. Obama officials are desperate to rebuild the Iran nuclear deal that Trump dropped, and they are working with their allies in Congress to complete it. All of this comes at a time when the Trump administration has been successful in isolating Iran from many of its European allies and trading partners, and now in some cases is even seeming to isolate Iran from Syria and Russia by pulling Hezbollah fighters out of Syria and Russia rejecting Iran's offer to purchase a major air defense system from Moscow. The U.S. has also labeled the Iranian Revolutionary National Guard a terrorist force and sent military equipment to the Middle East with escalating tensions against the Islamic Republic. To be clear, the fact that former Obama officials are holding shadow diplomacy with Iran and possibly passing them information from allies in Congress to undermine U.S. foreign policy is shocking and must be investigated by A.G. Barr immediately. Let that sink in. For One American News, I'm Jack Posobiec.